Members of the National Assembly are threatening to paralyze House proceedings on Thursday during the budget statements presentation over the delayed release of the National Government Constituency Development Fund in March this year. Now, National Treasury CS Ukuri Atani had earlier promised to release at least 2 billion Kenya shillings every week until the end of this financial year 2020-2021 to the members of parliament. But the pledge, according to legislators, has not been met. Early in March this year, the lawmakers were engaged in a showdown with the Treasury vying to shoot down government-sponsored motions if Treasury failed to disperse the funds. But three months down the line, and with less than two days before the CS presents his budget statement for the financial year 2021-2022, the legislators are breathing fire. Mr. Speaker, I'm not making threats, but I'm telling Treasury, if we don't get the funds before Thursday, the speech that touches the, um, the budget will not continue. It's from Mr. Speaker. It's not fair to discuss about the budget for next financial year, yet we have not done for this financial year. According to the Aldai Member of Parliament, NGCDF monies are used to fund various projects in the constituencies, one of them being education bursaries to students who come from needy backgrounds. And the worst case scenario is our children at home have no passeries. We are discussing about building this country and we are leaving our children to stay at home, Mr. Speaker. Which, which future are we discussing if we are not willing to finance their education, Mr. Speaker? Before the current standoff, Members of the Budget and Appropriation Committee spent several sittings in March trying to ham out a deal with Treasury by pushing for a 13.5 billion shillings allocation in the supplementary budget to clear NGCDF arrears for the last financial year. The Treasury is said to have given in to some of the demands by the MPs in a submission to the team chaired by Kieni Member of Parliament Kanini Kega. The only issue that we want to tie up is um, the issue of uh, disbursement of CDF and uh, the ministry has committed that they will be disbursing uh, 2 billion shillings per, per week. Uh, that will translate to about um, 8 billion per month. But we also need to remain realistic. We have created ourselves a fiscal framework that we think sound and reasonable under the circumstances by curtailing on a number of expenditures because you cannot go about uh, taxing our people. Uh, we have to now, within that parameter, to remain modest in our expenditure. The MPs say disbursement of CDF funds is not a favor from government to constituencies. <laughs> Nimro Tabu, Citizen TV.